like people get intimidated when it comes to off campus roles or um, roles in abroad but i feel like the first step which is the most important step is to just apply you just need to believe in yourself right uh, if you never ask the answer is always no basically like they try to understand if you can uh, communicate all these technical aspects to uh, someone who is not from a technical background usually i used to send 5 10 connection requests every day and add a little personalized note to it during the whole interview process i don't think my college name ever came up hey everyone this is nilayan a final year student from iit kharagpur and in this video i have with us shubhra mishra a batchmate of mine who recently got her internship offer at facebook meta london and that too for a role of a tpm intern that is a technical program manager intern now technical program manager is a role that is very hot right now especially because it involves both technical as well as managerial skills and that is why in this video shubhra will be talking about what exactly is this field like what do facebook look for when they are hiring tpm intern what was the selection process like what was the interview process like and everything about this new field she is also going to talk about what is the resources that she used what are the different books that she referred to so without further ado let's just start the video so hi guys my name is shubhra mishra and i am a fourth year student at iit kharagpur i recently accepted an offer from meta uh, i'll be working as a tpm intern in london for their infrastructure uh, team so yeah that's about me okay awesome so like before starting like uh, i think a lot of guys like a lot of the people who watch my podcast won't be knowing what exactly is a tpm role so can you just briefly briefly explain just what is a tpm role and is it anyway similar to product management uh, the the role that we're seeing nowadays so for product managers uh, what they usually do are they are majorly involved in managing one product or feature so they'll take care of um consumer research they'll take care of product market fit etc but for tpms they manage a variety of products but from a very technical standpoint so uh, basically for an infra tpm uh, i'll be in charge of um, scaling so uh, obviously whatsapp messenger all of these have billions of users so managing mm-hmm. an application for such a huge user base obviously requires some kind of thought into it so that right. is what tpms do they manage all these uh, scaling programs and um, yeah i hope that makes sense right and you were also talking about like uh, like it's a kind of a mix between tech and managerial managerial point of view so can you maybe talk a bit about that like how much manage like how much management is involved and how much actual technical stuff is involved right so i'll tell you um, what kind of selection procedure i went through so that will probably help in understanding what kind of role this is so okay okay then the- then we'll get into that later uh, because i have a question for you like what was the selection process what the interview process maybe the people who are watching this will get to know about that later so uh, secondly my next question would be like how did you get interested in this field uh, and like, maybe if you could share your journey like right from your first year what kind of things did you do that got you into this field at facebook so uh, tpm or like technical program manager management it kind of incorporates all of my individual um, interests so far like in all of my experiences in uh, kgp and in like uh, in my college years i've always been um, interested in uh, technical projects so uh, both of my internships that i did were um, as a technical intern one was as a web development intern another was as a product management intern but both of them heavily involved um, software development in it so that right. was something i was always interested in and uh, coming to the management side of things like which is also very significant when it comes to uh, the tpm role in my college years like i have um, held several pors and like i was uh, the governor of my um, like of the film club of our college film club and right. these experiences i really enjoyed and during these times i kind of understood that maybe i should go into a field where uh, which will kind of incorporate both of these and technical program management uh, seemed the perfect fit for me when i like saw the job description for it um, so yeah okay so now uh, you saw this role so like how did you apply for this role like given it was on off campus as well as abroad uh, so that must be interesting for all the people so they can maybe know how to apply for jobs abroad as well especially in facebook so i think there's a lot of um, like people get intimidated when it comes to off campus roles or um, roles in abroad 
but i feel like the first step which is the most important step is to just apply you just need to believe in yourself right uh, if you never ask the answer is always no um, and for me like i always felt like i can do things and i'll i'll just give it a try because this was my last internship in college right so if i didn't do it this time i wouldn't be able to do it any other time so i went through like uh, as a technical person i always wanted to get into fang so this was like kind of a hobby for me i used to go through their career uh, website and look right. through all the jobs and <laughs> that is where i found tpm and so as soon as i read the job description for a tpm i got interested into it and then i started pinging all these uh, facebook people on linkedin and i got in touch with a few people i sent my resumes to them i kind of tried to understand what kind of role this was and if my resume if my profile fit into that and that is how i you know got much a deeper insight into this role and and i decided that this is something which will work for me and i applied for it so yeah okay so you directly applied on their uh, career portal and did you take any kind of referral or such so yeah this is something very important i feel uh, mm-hmm. if you are like planning to apply uh, off campus it's very important that you get a referral because these companies obviously get a billion uh, applications right. every year and right. if you get a referral you kind of get an edge over these people it's not like if you get a referral you'll get in definitely but it just guarantees that your resume will be seen so when i got in touch with these people on linkedin um, i always used to like ask them what kind of job uh, they were doing and uh, what were their future plans and usually in that conversation uh, people would like themselves ask me if i needed a referral or i would ask them at yeah. the end of the conversation and that is how it should go like i would suggest you not ping people directly and ask for a mm-hmm. referral you try and communicate with them build a relationship and that's how you grow your network and um, eventually get a referral if possible right that that was actually that was actually a great answer like uh, even myself i like i am not even a full time employee and i get lots of ping especially because of this youtube channel that give me referral give me referral and these this uh, these texts are usually just one liners or two liners ki uh, this is my resume give me an, and the process that you mentioned that you actually wanted to know about the role you actually wanted to understand like what the role was what the work culture was like and then the person himself her or herself asked that if you wanted to referral and uh, that actually that actually is a great thing so yep that was a great tip for everyone out there uh, so now that you got a referral then what was the selection process like at meta uh, if you can talk about that so for usually uh, all meta interns they go through a two round process after the initial recruiter conversation so the interview process is usually um, two 45 minute calls so for my thing uh, both of these calls consisted of uh, a technical aspect and a behavioral aspect so for the technical aspect they expected people to kind of know how to design systems like whatsapp messenger end to end right so mm-hmm. uh, you need to think about scaling you need to think about how efficient that system is and you need to like justify your choices in the uh, during the interview another major aspect of it was the behavioral questions so in that i think i would suggest you just be honest and think about your experiences reflect on them and try to build your answers on that so if you have a leadership experiences if you have team work experiences uh, you will be able to answer these questions it won't be that tough so i think majorly uh, for me my focus was on the technical aspect i because system design was completely new for me as a fresher you right. don't really put a lot of thought into system design so right. that was something i did from scratch and i enjoyed it a lot and it was very challenging but when i got the hang of it i started designing some systems on my own and then it became pretty fun so yeah that was the general process for the um, interview yeah so like uh, in both the interviews it consisted both of like technical and behavioral uh, in the in those 45 minutes only right so uh, like they usually try to keep one full design question and right. then there are a set of like um, technical question so you are asked to explain a technical concept like maybe uh, how load balancing works or how how you would scale a system from a few number of users to billions of users so basically like they try to understand if you can uh, communicate all these technical aspects to uh, someone who is not from a technical background 
so they just okay. judge your uh, competence on this um, ground yeah okay so like can you talk to me about the duration of these like uh, when you applied then how many days later did you get the interview link or maybe the oa link like where was there any test or an online test before these interviews so i would suggest if you want to get into facebook or google you need to have a lot of patience so right. their process takes <laughs> <laughs> a long long time and with uh, with me like my whole process was during the holiday season so in the united states and in uk they take this holiday season very seriously mm. uh, so this whole period of thanksgiving then christmas and all of right. new year right. and <laughs> so the office is completely closed at that time and it takes a lot mm. of time so i i think i applied in october i guess and then i heard back after uh, a week later and then after i got in touch with the recruiter i uh scheduled the first interview and the scheduling itself took a lot of time because it was obviously thanksgiving and the holiday season right. but between like i think uh, around 2 to 3 weeks in scheduling and then 2 to 3 weeks between both of these interviews so all in all it took around uh, around 3 months for the whole process so yeah a lot wow. of patience <laughs> <laughs> wow so like obviously they they gave you some time right for preparing like when you uh, mailed yeah. they must have asked you that would you require some time or not so they give you a kind of a bandwidth and you need to pick your interview slots between those okay. uh, dates so yeah okay. i picked according to my like my semester was also going on mm-hmm. right so i needed to like balance all of that Right. so yeah but like the recruiters are very very helpful and you can ask them to postpone it if you need more time and usually they are very helpful and they like basically they want you to get selected it's obviously in their best interest to do that so i would suggest you always be in touch with your recruiter he or she is your best friend in this whole process right. so yeah so like after these two interviews was there anything else from facebook like or they directly gave you an offer letter or anything Uh, i think uh, yeah i got my offer letter pretty much within a week after my second interview within 2 right. 3 days i guess yeah okay awesome no so that now we know about like what was the interview process like what the like how did you apply can you maybe talk about how did you prepare for the internship and how the general people outside can prepare for the internship so like i said like there were two major aspects to this role uh, one was the technical aspect and the other was the management one so for the technical one i would suggest you brush your dsa concepts like mm. anyone going into a technical field should be uh, clear right. with those basics and another major part of it is system design like i said so for mm. that i would suggest this uh, book called grokking the system design this is what okay. people preparing for fang usually do i also suggest watching a lot of youtube videos um, on system design so you get an idea of how basically uh, you should go about because 45 minutes is very less to design a system right. that is being used by millions of people right? right so you need to be very structured when it comes to system design you need to pick the right uh, requirements you need to pick the right things to touch on in the interview so yeah practice 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 for the behavioral oh. part mm-hmm. yeah you can continue you can continue i'll ask the questions later <laughs> okay for the behavioral part uh, i would suggest you try to think of four or five experiences in your life um, and they should revolve around leadership and teamwork and how you manage a difficult situation all of that and then try to come up with um, like your version of that story in a very structured way and if you are honest i think that should like get you by and it won't be a big deal so yeah so my focus was completely on the technical aspect of it Okay, so the behavioral part, you say that it's it's not much of an issue if you have written some kind of like if you have certain leadership PORs or maybe uh, incidents that he or she might have had in his past, and he should be able to tell tell about that. And like regarding the technical part, you talked about DSA. So during these interviews, was any kind of DSA being asked to the like to you or to any of the students? uh it wasn't like they weren't uh, direct dsa questions but i used a mm. lot of those concepts while i was designing uh, these applications okay right? okay so i have uh, studied all of this properly so that is why like system design comes uh, easily to me i need to understand the basics first that is why i suggested so mostly you won't be asked to code in this interview since this mm. is uh, a little 
like this is not a coding interview but you should be clear with those concepts because you could be asked them because this is something very basic uh, for them so yeah right. focus should definitely be on system design yeah. right now uh, you said that you talk to a lot of people about the tpm role and all of that so can you can you describe like uh, what you gained from those experiences and what they really told about like what the tpm role is like like you said a mixture of tech and management so what exactly is the work like when will you be working at meta so yeah uh, i think my role is in the infra team so i would mm-hmm. majorly be tasked with uh, how these applications are scaled what what new things can be done to make the user experience better from a very right. technical standpoint so i'll be working in the whatsapp team so uh, yeah okay. i'll be dealing with all these uh, yeah scaling <laughs> issues privacy issues and yeah. well, that that's so, a good area to work at <laughs> but uh, i gained a lot from my conversations with people on linkedin people are usually very helpful if you approach them in a in a kind of manner right so um, i used to talk like usually i used to send 5 10 connection requests every day and mm-hmm. add a little personalized note to it and right. so i so i made a lot of iterations to my resume as well because of this i used to send my resume okay. to people and then people would suggest ki uh, this is this is good this is bad and that is how i improved my resume so i did a lot of groundwork before i applied i spent two months talking to people uh, perfecting wow. my resume yeah and <laughs> after i was satisfied with uh, how my resume looked and how i was prepared for the position and then i applied so my preparation started way before uh, i even applied so right. yeah so like uh, my next question is going to be towards that like most of my student base or the subscriber base is actually not from iits not from nits they are from maybe tier 2 tier 3 colleges so did you feel any kind of biasness towards you because you are from an iit or like that is not even a question and like they treat everyone equally so while i was searching for people who were who have worked in similar fields and who were working uh, mm-hmm. abroad in all of these companies i came across a lot of people who were not from iits right so i don't right. think that's an issue if your resume is good if you have done relevant work uh, that should be enough i feel like and during the whole interview process i don't think my college name ever came up so okay Yeah, nice. just like believe in yourself you just need to apply i would suggest all students to just give it a try there's no harm right. in applying so yeah right thank you so much for this like uh, and like final my final question would be like what are the career prospects for a tpm intern like after this like will you be getting a ppo and maybe after the ppo what's the road map like like after a tpm then what kind of position do you get to and what does it look like maybe 5 or 10 years down the line if you know about that that would be great So I think talking about PPO is a little early <laughs> because I haven't really right. Like, will it, like, my... is there a scope of getting a PPO? That's what I'm asking. I hope so. I think so. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> yeah, if I do get a PPO, uh, then TPMs usually uh, like get promoted and be become managers of other TPMs, and they also kind of can transition into adjacent roles like product managers or engineering managers. so right. yeah the scope is infinite uh, this is a very flexible position and yeah like there's a lot of scope for growth all right so yeah thank you so much shubhra for being here i think this was extremely this was extremely insightful for all the people out there especially for someone who has got a tpm role at a uh, facebook uh, i don't I, i i don't think i have a, i have had anyone do a podcast on my channel from facebook yet so you're the first one from facebook so thank you so mm-hmm. much uh, and i hope you like this as well i loved it you're just very <laughs> kind and man thank you so much for having me and i hope like people can connect to me if they have any questions uh, i'd be i'd love to help them out on linkedin so if you can just add my linkedin profile yeah, yeah absolutely i'll i'll them. i'll add the link of the book that you mentioned i'll also add your linkedin profile link in the below so that people can ask you any questions they have related to facebook or tpm sure sounds great i'll also give you a few other links as well uh, for tpm and for tpm specific roles and i hope that helps yep, yep that so that, that would be great thank you